Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Skylar. I am a certified dog trainer and pet nutritionist. Last week I made a video called Pet Nutritionist Ranks Dog Foods. I'll leave that linked somewhere up here and in the description below if you wanna check that out. I briefly touched on a bunch of different dog food brands and kind of where I would put them in a tier rank system. Uh, one of these brands that I did touch on was Nutrisource, and I got a comment down below asking about their sister company or adjacent line, Pure Vita. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. I just got off a Zoom meeting with my uh, KLN Nutrisource rep, so I have all of my questions freshly answered with the most up-to-date information that I can possibly have for you guys. So I thought today was a good day to film this video. So to start off, KLN, the company that owns and manufactures Nutrisource, they have a few different food lines. Today we're only going to be focusing on Nutrisource and Pure Vita because they are the most similar and what I say for one generally relates to the other and if there's any differences I'll be sure to point those out. I'm also going to be talking about the pros and cons of each line and why you might want to go with a certain line versus the other. Throughout this video, you're also going to hear me use KLN Nutrisource interchangeably. Just understand that KLN is the manufacturer and Nutrisource is the brand, but since they do all of their own manufacturing, they're one and the same. So just a quick overview of KLN's brand practices, kind of their brand identity, things that they're really passionate about, things they focus on. Um, they are from Minnesota, they're from Perham and they own their own facility. They have a human grade kitchen that yes, is both AFCO certified and I did check, also USDA certified, which is very important because there is a huge difference between those two. I also did check today that their ingredients are USDA certified and inspected. They said they are, so that's always nice to hear because again, there's a big discrepancy between what AFCO says is okay for pet food and what the USDA says is okay for food in general. Like I said, they are in Perham and they do all of their sourcing as local to them as possible. So for example, ingredient sourcing as local to them as possible. They are essentially <laughs> funding the economy of this particular town that they're in. Um, they like to keep their sourcing as local to their facilities as possible because it's a greener footprint. They have more control over ingredient quality, that kind of stuff. They also mill and process all of their own ingredients. So they buy them whole and then mill them themselves, which gives them a little bit more control over quality, which we always love to hear in the dog food world. And they also have their finished product third party tested and they do a hold on that product until they get those results back. But once the results come back clean, that's when they get rid of the food that they're holding on to, get it to the distributors who then can get it to the stores. Kaylin has been around for 50 years. They've never had a recall and that's in part because of this third party testing. And that's something that I just want to highlight because they have not had a recall. As pet food people, we're very afraid of recalls and different things like third party testing, like owning your own manufacturing facility, like having hands on throughout the entire manufacturing process all helps to reduce those recalls. Now, Nutrisource and Pure Vita also have part of their Good for Life vitamin pack program, um, which is essentially a few different specific qualities that they've trademarked and added to their foods that help with anything from digestibility to uh, making it a palatant to regrowing the microvilli in the system, adding pre and probiotics. Um, increasing the metabolism, all different kinds of stuff that's very unique to their own formula. And so both Nutrisource and Pure Vita have this Good For Life program. The pre and probiotics make it super good for digestive health. If your dog has tummy issues, if he's getting older, then this can be very beneficial to help regenerate that good bacteria in the gut, which then helps with the entire immune system and health of the dog. All right, so let's talk about Nutrisource, the brand for a second. So the Nutrisource line has both grain inclusive and grain free options. 
I can do a whole separate video about what the difference is between grain-free and grain-inclusive, why you might prefer one over the other, how we came about, recent issues regarding those. If you'd like any of that, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to do a whole video for you because it is quite a topic right now. But they do have both grain inclusive and grain free options. The important thing to note with Nutrisource is they are a multi-protein food. So even if it says lamb and rice on the bag, they also use fish as part of their omega-3s and 6s. So further down on that ingredient panel, you will see fish. Does this really matter? No. In fact, fish oil is extremely sensitive and really has no business being in dog food anyway because of the very strict conditions that it needs to survive and hold all of those benefits of the fish oil. But this is something that you might wanna keep into consideration, especially if your dog is particularly sensitive to things, to just check that ingredient panel. So a good example of this is a couple different lines. We have Seafood Select, which is salmon and Hayden fish. We have Prairie Select, which is duck and quail. And those are usually the ones that I'll point out to people to kind of get that comparison of these are multi-protein, whereas Pure Vita, which we'll talk about here in a second, is single source protein. So Pure Vita is Nutrisource's limited ingredient line. So again, biggest difference here is that they are single source protein. So you'll have a bag and it says turkey. It's just turkey, just salmon, just duck, just beef, etc. So one benefit of having this single source ingredient line is dogs with food sensitivities, it's really easy to pair them up with flavors that aren't going to contain possible allergens. So for example, if your dog is allergic to chicken, can't have chicken, then we can always try giving them the salmon or the venison or the kangaroo or the duck. And we know that none of those are going to have chicken in them. Purita also comes in both a grain-free and a grain-inclusive line. However, I do want to point out that the grain-inclusive formulas for Pure Vita do tend to have white potato and oatmeal. These are two ingredients that I just like to make people aware of because they are very high in naturally occurring sugars. And what happens is sugar feeds yeast, yeast can be exacerbated by these ingredients, and therefore if your dog has a yeast issue and you're trying to fight against that, this is not going to help. So just avoiding those flavors that use the white potato and the oatmeal is gonna help a lot. If you'd like me to do a whole video on yeast and how different foods interact with yeast, again, leave that down in the comments below. I would love to do that for you. So because Nutrisource and Pure Vita both have a pretty good ingredient panel overall, I kind of just skipped over dissecting the ingredient panel. And as I'm going through and editing this, I really wanted to include this because I know that especially when I'm talking about lesser brands, I'm much more critical and really go into the ingredient panel. So I wanted to make sure that we're doing that for these guys as well. So let's go ahead and we'll take a look at the ingredient panel for the Nutrisource Adult Chicken and Rice. Now I have the main bulk of the ingredients bolded and obviously in a larger font. Um, that's because anything after salt is going to be a very, very, very small amount of the formula. Salt is about at the 2% mark, so anything obviously below salt is less than 2% of the formula. Uh, looking at it here, this one, first ingredient's chicken, next ingredient is chicken meal, that's awesome. It's chicken byproduct meal or any byproduct meal that you want to be aware of but the actual named meat itself as a meal, I'm totally fine with. And I can make a whole separate video about the difference between meats and meat meals and all that stuff. Uh, then we got brown rice and barley. We got chicken fat. Um, oatmeal is one of those ingredients that I always like to bring attention to. It's not a huge deal. Most dogs are totally, totally fine with it. Um, but it is one that's high in natural sugars and can exacerbate yeast. And that's why I like to point it out. We have the Menhaden fish meal, which, like I said um, in the actual part of the video that I did film, uh, Nutrisource, even their, like, chicken food or their lamb or beef or whatever flavor you're looking at, they do use Menhaden fish meal as a source of their fish oil, which is awesome because 
fish oil itself is very, very, very sensitive, and a lot can go wrong there. It has a very short shelf right, shelf life. So that I'm totally cool with. I appreciate. Um, beyond that, the ingredients are pretty standard for this food. Some of you might know that I prefer, and I get really excited about foods that do very little synthetic vitamins. Um, that's because when you make a vitamin in a lab, it's actually the mirror image of that vitamin. So the body doesn't always recognize it or process it the same way that it would from a naturally occurring whole food vitamin. But very few dog food brands do that. So I don't ever really hold it against them. It's always more of a like gold star, you did this thing, than really deducting points in my book. Um, and a big part of this too is that good for life formula with their vitamins that we talked about. So making the metabolism faster, um, making absorption super high, uh, all the pre and probiotics, that kind of stuff, you'll see down here towards the bottom, all of the big words, then fermentation product, those are the uh, probiotics. So now looking at the Pure Vita, uh, turkey and sweet potato, which is, at least in my experience, the most popular Pure Vita flavor. So that's why we're looking at this one here. This one is a grain-free. I wanted to make sure we looked at both the grain-inclusive and the grain-free. So this is a grain-free one. And first two ingredients, we got turkey, turkey meal. Like I said, totally happy about that. We have peas, which I don't have an issue with. If you want me to do a whole video on the DCM pea thing, trust me, it's in my list of things to do. Um, and if you want to bump it up on that list, be sure to leave it down in the comments because that's a whole thing I could get into for like an hour. We got sweet potato. Sweet potato is a good potato. So you hear me caution against white potato because it's really high in sugars. Sweet potato is not necessarily that way. Um, lots of nutrients in sweet potato doesn't exacerbate yeast. I'm a big fan of the sweet potato. Um, pea flour is going to be one of those binder ingredients. Pea starch, not the biggest fan of. Um, but, you know, again, binders... And then uh, Pure Vita does use salmon oil, which I love that it's named. If it says salmon oil over fish oil, you know the source of the oil, um, which is always better than if it was just fish. And then uh, preserved with tocopherols, which is a natural preservative. And we got the salt. And down below, same vitamin pack, um, same opinions on the vitamins there so yeah that's all i'll go let other skylar take it from here just wanted to point out all of those ingredients and make sure that we addressed those now let's touch on allergies for a second so we're talking about pure vita pure vita is a limited ingredient food we typically re recommend these to people whose dogs experience food allergies there's a couple things about food allergies that I just want to throw in here really quick. I'd love to make a whole video on food allergies. I could probably do a whole series on food allergies. Uh, but we're just going to keep it nice, short, and sweet here. One thing that I've noticed with working with dogs with food allergies is that typically it's not the ingredient that they're allergic to. It's the poor quality of the ingredient. So, for example, your dog might not necessarily have a chicken allergen, but they might be allergic to the poor quality chicken they were using in grocery store foods. Using a higher quality brand like a Nutrisource or a Pure Vita would be really beneficial to revisit that chicken after you've detoxed their system, given them other foods like maybe the kangaroo, the venison, or the duck that they have very low chance of being allergic to, and then reintroducing that to see if it truly is an allergen or if it was just poor quality and weakened immune system. Nutrisource is also known and extremely proud of their poop. So if your dog has less than stellar stools, if your dog has really bad gas, the pre and probiotics in this particular food are really, really good at helping that digestive system, helping things to process the way they should, and helping to make healthy, fluffy stools 
and can also really help with gas. Nutrisource as a brand, all of their foods, really, really great quality, especially at the price point that they're at. This is actually the food, the kibble that I feed my dogs and my older dog gets their canned as well. If you have an older dog and you're not able to switch onto all wet or all raw with them, I do typically recommend going with Nutrisource just because it does have that high level of cream probiotics, high digestibility, and you want to make things as easy as possible, especially on older pets. So these are important things to consider, especially if you have a more sensitive and smelly breed. Um, these typically tend to be pit bulls, French bulldogs, English bulldogs, labs even. Um, tend to be very sensitive dogs, not only in their skin, but also in their bowels. So it makes a really good food for them as well. As with any food that we'll ever look at here on this channel, there is no one size fits all for dog food. Each dog is an individual and should be treated as such. And foods may change depending on age, weight, breed, health concerns, as well as the fact that kibble diets aren't the most biologically appropriate for our dogs. Kibble was made to be convenient and affordable for us, but it's not necessarily made with the overall health, wellness, and needs of the dog in mind. That being said, if you're going to feed kibble or a partial kibble diet, Nutrisource is a pretty great food and you can find a way of making it work for most dogs. If your dog has particular uh, health concerns that need a little extra attention from a pet nutritionist, feel free to email me down in my business email in the description. And if you have any questions about whether or not this is a good food for your dog, I'd be more than happy to give you some advice either in the comments or again in that email. Please be sure to like this video if you found it informational, subscribe for more content, and comment below any other brands that you would like me to do a deep dive into. I do think it's really important that the general public and consumers understand this kind of information, especially about their dog's food, because a lot of the information that you're getting from TV, from the shelves, even from well-meaning vets, tends to be skewed and a little bit misinformed. So. Definitely these videos I'm excited about. I enjoy making them and I hope you all learned something. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.